Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today we will discuss different types of rectifiers. We will see here half wave rectifier and the full wave rectifier. We will understand what we mean by the rectification process that is what are rectifiers and what is the difference between these rectifiers full wave and half wave how they are different and why full wave rectification is better than half wave rectification. So on the screen you can see the simulation of a half wave rectifier. This is using only one diode okay, in this half wave rectifier and this is the waveform. Now sh let me show you the full wave rectifier circuit and its working simulation. This is the full wave rectifier. Observe here that it uses four diodes 1, 2, 3 and 4. This full wave rectifier circuit is not using any filter to remove the fluctuations in the output. So we also use a circuit that uses RC filter. So this is circuit and the simulation of a full wave bridge rectifier having RC filter for smoothing of the DC waveform that we obtained after rectification. So we use this RC filter. Now let's uh, begin with the half wave rectifiers. We will discuss all these here. So this is the half wave rectifier. Here is the input waveform AC input. Okay. And here we are getting the output waveform. This is the input applied. Okay. And here is the output after rectification half wave rectification. Now let me tell you what are rectifiers. Actually a rectifier is nothing but simply an electrical device that converts the alternating current that is the AC current into DC current that is the direct current. What is AC current? This is the AC current. You see this waveform which uh, periodically repeats the direction of its flow. Okay, It reverses its direction periodically. While DC has only one direction, it flows only in one direction. So by the rectification process, what we do, we convert a AC signal into a DC signal. Okay. The opposite of this rectification is called the inversion. So what are inverters? Inverters convert the DC voltage into AC, DC signals into AC signals. This is the reverse process of the rectification. Okay, so we will here study this uh, half wave rectifier first. You see that uh, we are using a diode here, only single diode, and the uh, function, or you can say the working principle of a diode is it allows the current to flow only in one direction. Okay, this is the AC waveform that I have applied. Okay, AC signal. Now you see the direction of the current changes okay if i assume that signal above the axis above the x axis is positive and below the x axis is negative then here the amplitude of this uh, voltage is increasing okay reaches to the maximum observe my cursor okay cursor of this so amplitude is increasing reaches maximum and then it starts to decrease but here the direction of current changes and it increases to the negative peak okay now it decreases and from this when it reaches uh, zero magnitude its direction increase uh, its direction is reversed and it increases in opposite direction reaches the peak so in this way it changes uh, the direction of current now the diode we know that allows to allows the flow of current in only one direction if first of all in one cycle it becomes this terminal becomes positive and it becomes negative while another cycle in another cycle it becomes negative and it becomes positive okay the direction of current changes when this is positive and here is the negative terminal then the, it allows the current to flow but when in the next cycle it becomes uh, negative then the diode is reverse biased it is not forward biased and it does not allow the current to flow okay so in that case the current stops that's why you see here this positive peak if you see this peak okay this side this pulse is allowed okay you see this pulse has been allowed but this negative pulse has been 
clipped off okay this has been removed you see again this positive peak is uh, this positive uh, waveform is taken and again this positive waveform is taken these negative negative waveforms are removed negative part has been removed by this diode because it does not allow the current to flow in reverse direction only one direction is allowed that's why it converts only this half part of this waveform into dc therefore it is less efficient okay if we see some formulas related to this like uh, for vrms and uh, dc voltage then for this half wave rectifier the vrms let me denote this vrms by vr that vrms is equals to the peak voltage okay vp i'm denoting peak voltage by vp so vp divided by 2 okay this is the rms value it is for half wave rectifier and uh, the dc voltage so v dc okay so v dc is equals to this uh, v peak okay v peak divided by pi okay this is the dc value of the voltage here is the rms and this is the dc voltage so learn these formulas okay now we will see the full wave rectifier the bridge rectifier here we will discuss this is the circuit of a full wave rectifier it is called bridge rectifier it uses four diodes and it is a full wave rectifier why it is a full wave rectifier because it converts both positive and negative peaks into dc here this is the ac voltage okay ac signal because it is reversing its direction but here is the dc voltage a complete dc voltage and uh, observe here that uh, this has converted this this is the already positive direction while this this is the reversal of the direction of the voltage so it converts this also into positive so you see the here uh, in the input side this is ac signal which is having positive and negative uh, cycles okay positive and negative uh, voltages okay the current direction is changing here you see this is the ac signal applied at the input here and it is changing its direction again and again but here the whole curve is above the x axis it means it is not changing it is not going in the negative direction the whole curve is positive the signal has converted from ac to dc now okay we are getting this dc voltage across this uh, 100 ohm resistor okay in this uh, circuit simulation so this is a full wave rectification while in case of uh, half wave rectifier we were only converting uh, we were uh, rejecting these negative peaks so its efficiency was much lower than this full wave rectifier now let's see how this full wave rectifier works and uh, why the direction of current is always same you see for the first cycle let's say that uh, here this is the positive terminal in the first cycle this is positive and this is negative because ac current changes plus and minus again and again okay so here it is first uh, plus and here it is negative if it is positive then the current will flow in this direction it is positive higher voltage so let's say the current direction is in this way it is going here and now this only this diode it has two ways to go when the current reaches at this point it has two ways to go this and this but this is reverse biased okay it is having it is at higher voltage so the current will not flow in this path and will go through this diode so it is going in this way you observe my cursor okay this mouse cursor it is going in this way and at this point it has uh, two paths this and this but this is again reverse bias so the current will go in this path and uh, in the downward side it will go and after that it will go to this place and then this observe the direction of current that i'm showing you okay this path it is following this path this is blocked going to this again this is blocked this is reverse biased and it will go in this way okay this is the path again 
it will go to this way and reach to the negative terminal so in this way you observe that the current is flowing downwards in this uh, 100 ohm resistor okay so this is the direction if i change the direction of this uh, this uh, polarity is changed okay let's clear these and in the next cycle it becomes negative and it becomes positive since it is at higher terminal it is at higher voltage so the current will flow in this way okay it will go up to this point okay now it has two options to go here and here but it is blocked it is reverse bias so the current will flow through this diode okay again at this place it has two options to go here and here but it will go in this way because it cannot move in this uh, diode because it is reverse bias it's because this is the end terminal this is p terminal and terminal is at higher voltage so the current will grow in this way and uh, again through this and uh, it will reach at this point this point and after that since it has to reach to this negative terminal okay so the current is going in this way again and to this end and reach to this negative terminal okay so the direction of current is as i show you here here then in this way again this follow this and uh, in this way it reaches to this negative terminal okay in this way you observe that uh, in this resistor always the direction of current is downwards okay even when uh, the polarity has been changed the polarity of voltage has changed even though even then the direction of current in this uh, resistor is downwards that is why we say that uh, this voltage has been converted into dc this across this uh, load i have dc voltage because the direction is always same that is here in this case downwards through this load resistor okay resistive load so it has been converted into we are getting a dc voltage across this load resistor i think it is clear why we have used four diodes so while in case of a uh, half wave rectifier when the polarity was reversed it was uh, the diode was not allowing allowing the current to flow it was clipping the uh, other uh, other side of the other direction of the waveform okay the negative peak was the negative waveform was removed but in this case whether it is positive end or negative end in each cycle it is allowing the current to flow through this resistor even also in the same direction so it is converting it into dc now observe here that uh, although we have converted this ac signal uh, into dc signal because the whole graph whole waveform is above the x axis okay uh, reversal of direction is not present in this but there is also pulses here the constant dc is not present so we use uh, a filter also in this circuit let me show you the circuit here yes this is the circuit of a full wave rectifier bridge rectifier with filter this is the rc filter you see here r and c capacitor and resistor so it is rc filter the job of this uh, rc filter is to smoothen the dc pulse in the previous um, waveform you have seen that when we were not using the filter in the bridge rectifier then it ha it had uh, the pulses okay the constant dc is obtained nearly constant dc is obtained due to this rc filter it removes these fluctuations okay we also use uh, a regulator like uh, 7805 uh, we can use the ic okay integrated circuit uh, that uh, further smoothens this um, dc waveform you see there is uh, even little uh, fluctuation this is not perfect dc okay you can see this so after using the 7805 like uh, voltage regulator ic's we can get perfect dc nearly perfect dc that can be used in uh, power supplies okay 7805 here uh, this uh, 5 stands for uh, 5 voltage so it uh, provides the 5 voltage output okay 5 volt output so this was uh, about the half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier in case of uh, full wave rectifiers if we see the average current that is the dc current and the rms uh, 
for full wave rectifiers the value of the DC voltage or you can say the average voltage is 2 V peak divided by pi we have seen the values for the half wave rectifier now I am uh, having these values for the full wave rectifier the voltage DC we also call this uh, DC voltage as the average voltage so that's denoted by AV it is equals to 2 V peak divided by pi 2 V it is peak voltage okay the maximum voltage V max divided by pi in that case half wave rectifier it was V peak divided by pi here it is double of that the average voltage is double and uh, what is the RMS in case of full wave rectifier V RMS it is a little bit difficult to write okay uh, it is a V peak divided by root 2 so V RMS is equals to V maximum by root 2 in case of half wave rectifier the V RMS was V peak divided by 2 V peak by 2 so this is the difference uh, in the formulas V and DC and uh, V RMS in case of uh, half wave and full wave remember these okay keep these in mind so I hope you got all these concepts the difference between half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier and their circuit and working we have also discussed hope you liked the video if you liked it please click on the like button and share it with your friends okay so that uh, it can reach to more uh, of your friends and viewers and do not forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy thank you for watching see you in the next video till then bye bye take care